Hey guys, so for today's video, I'll be doing the review of Vanish acne scars. As you guys can see that I don't have any makeup on. That is because I want you guys to see what is the result after using this product. So they sent me the Banish starter kit. So in this kit, they have the Banish oil, vitamin C beauty elixir, Banisher 2.0, pumpkin mask, activated charcoal mask, vitamin C cream, and a storage bag. They also sent me their newest product that is the fighter gel. So all of the products here are natural, vegan, and cruelty free. And what I love about this product is that their packaging is glass containers and when they wrap the products, they don't wrap it with the bubble wraps. They use um, recycled paper and that is good because they don't really use much of um, plastic which is really unique and that is good for the earth of course so if you're suffering from acne scars and an even skin tone this kit will be good for you I've been using this for four weeks I've been using it from uh, 2nd December so I'm just gonna tell you what I did with these products so first of all let's talk about the mask for the activated charcoal mask, they recommend to use it one, one to two times per week. But I've been kind of using it for once a week because I don't want to use too much of these products. And this mask can be used before the banisher as they said in this booklet. When I use this charcoal mask, I mix it with the apple cider vinegar because they mentioned that you can use any liquid to mix it with this um, charcoal mask. So yeah, I mix it with the apple cider vinegar because I use apple cider vinegar with the Aztec healing clay. So I thought it might help as well. So the mask feels normal. Um, it doesn't really dry my skin, which is good. So after I used the charcoal mask, I did my regular um, night skincare routine. So that's that. So for the pumpkin mask, they recommend to use it one to three times per week but I've been using it for once a week and when I use this mask, I feel some tingle in the first few minutes and they said that it's normal so yeah, I felt that yeah, it didn't irritate my skin or anything so this mask, of course, doesn't dry up because it is pumpkin so this pumpkin mask is supposed to exfoliate your skin because it has AHA it has AHA in it so it is important to use sunscreen in your morning routine this mask smells like pumpkin, of course all of these products doesn't have, you know the best smell of course because it is all natural they don't put um, fragrance in it and no harsh chemicals so for the vitamin C beauty elixir elixir um, I didn't really use it much I use it when I'm when I feel like um, using it so it's just next to my computer when I feel dry I would just spray it on my skin so I feel refreshed it's like a setting spray <laughs> and for the vitamin C cream I use it in the morning they recommend to use daily in the morning at night or after the banisher mainly I use it in the morning as moisturizer but when I use this cream I don't really like it because when I use it and then throughout the day I'll get really oily because I don't use any makeup so I get really oily around my face so I don't really like using it yeah I think that's the only product that I didn't like in this kit I mean it's not bad it didn't break out my skin or anything but it's just it just gets oily so for the banisher I was kind of scared to use it I just used it on my left side of my of my face um, and on the right side I didn't use it at all but because I don't know what will happen after using this and it's needles you know it's kind of like uh, small needles that's poking in 
to your skin so I was scared to use it so to use this you have to soak the, the needles in alcohol for a few minutes before using it so it can sterilize the needles so after a few minutes um, you let it air dry for a few minutes again so after cleansing my face after one press I rotate the banisher um, in like 90 degrees and press again and I do it a um, few times all over my skin so yeah that's what I did because that's what they say in the website so after using the banisher I would use the banish oil I think the first two times I used my hands to put the banish oil but after that I tried to use the cotton to apply the banish oil because I don't want to use my hands to apply the oil because that is not good your hands might have bacteria or dirt or anything like that so it's best to use cotton to apply the banish oil to your skin after using the banish oil my face would turn red and that is normal because the oil is absorbing into your skin and also this is very important you cannot use the banisher on the active acne because of course if you have acne that has pus or anything of course it's gonna pop right so you don't want that to happen so just try to avoid the active acne on your face I didn't use it on my active acne just the scars and also after using the banisher it is recommended not to use any makeup on your skin the next day because of course your your skin is still like healing from the from what you did because you create some holes in your um, skin tiny holes and you don't want to put any like you know irritating stuff on your skin so just try to use um, natural products on your skin after um, using the banisher for the last item that is the fighter gel I use it after my skincare routine I would use it like um, spot treatment so I would just use a q-tip to um, apply it onto my active acne or any redness on my skin or any inflamed acne I would apply it in the next day I noticed that I don't really have uh, much redness on my skin so I think this product is also good if you have uh, a lot of redness on your skin like I do as you guys can see so yeah that's what I did um, using all of these products um, I don't know if you guys can see any improvements on my skin I don't really know if um, it reduces my acne scars because I don't know my skin have a lot of redness as you guys can see but overall I think these products are really good because they are all natural there's no harsh ingredients which is really good for my skin because I have really very sensitive skin so yeah that is my review of these um, products let me know what you guys think of this product just comment down below i think this is my last video of 2019 i'm ready for 2020 so yeah i guess that's it for this video i hope you guys like it and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe for more videos and more reviews and yeah i'll see you guys in 2020 hope you guys have a happy new year yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye